Do you ever get an email in your inbox that just made you wonder, did that person really send that email? Something about it seemed perhaps a little bit off. Well, if you've ever wondered that, then what you were wondering about or guessing might have been going on was something called email spoofing. Email spoofing is when somebody pretends to send from somebody else's email address. And I came across this rather intriguing tool on the internet last week, and I think it's uh, good to demonstrate for anybody just that you can't trust anything on the internet. You can't trust that just because you get an email from somebody that it really came from that person. If you have any doubts, it's worth checking with the sender that they actually sent that email. So uh, this is called Mkey's Mailer and it says it's a free online anonymous mailer with attachments, encryption, HTML editor and advanced settings. And I wanna show you how crazy this thing actually works. So. If I just want to uh, send an email from, let's say, test.com, right? And I want to send it from John, John Smith, and John's, John's email address, let's say, is going to be john at test.com. And now I'm going to send it to me. And I'm going to say this is a test email. Now, this thing works really, really well. I can send in uh, text or plain mode. I can send an email in uh, HTML and I can even turn on this editor. Now, if there's advanced settings here, and just to show you exactly what you can do, I can even spoof the date that this email is sent on, um, and I can even spoof an SMTP server and change the character set. Um, if I want to um, encrypt it, I can do that as well. But let's just go for a simple test email and say, hi Daniel, this is John here from test.com. I wanted to see if you could send me some Bitcoin. By the way, are we still meeting for dinner at eight? So I'm just gonna send this now. Time, email sent successfully. Now let's see how this showed up in my inbox. So here is the uh, test email as it appears in my Gmail. It's from John as test.com. Uh, Gmail does put, put up a question mark there, but it doesn't give a spoofed sender thing. Now, if you, attempt to spoof a Gmail address, then if you're sending it to another uh, Gmail or a Google address, something in the Google network, then it's gonna pick up that yellow warning. But the concerning thing is that if you simply attempt to send it from a domain, um, it's not gonna get that. It doesn't even get the via x.com, which sometimes tips you off that an email is not actually originating from who the sender it says it is. So. Uh, this is a pretty robust spoofing tool. It's kind of creepy that something this effective is just out there on the internet. And it's uh, even more reason to be very wary of any email. If something looks suspicious about an email, um, as I said, it's worth verifying. If you have a direct channel that you know is authentic with the sender, uh, making sure that it's actually them communicating with you and not somebody pretending to be them.